Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. It's been a while to uh, banish the doubt. It's been so long, I almost forgot the title of my videos. But I want to explain. So I've been working at a new job because, well, frankly, you know, that's the reason why um, I haven't been around. I've, been, I've had a job and working full time. And so I'm doing this now part time. So it doesn't change, though, the videos that I make or the fact that I'm working towards these videos. Really, I've been doing a lot more research when I have the time. And I just read something very interesting from Genevieve Davis. And it's about changing your story. It was a quick blurb that I read from an email. And really that kind of hits at the crux of what I'm talking about tonight. What's your story? That's what I'm going to title this video. What's your story? What, what do you tell yourself each day when you wake up and throughout your day? You see, because the job that I have, it's, it's in sales and it's actually for a um, home warranty company that's around, it's called, across the country called uh, Choice Home Warranty. And it's interesting because I'm working in a call center and you see, you can watch the, the changes in people as they're making calls. And it's a fairly intensive uh, type of uh, environment to be in. Uh, but it's good because it really works on, or at least it really establishes where your mindset is. And interestingly enough, the people, when you're calling, you get this whole sort of um, myriad, if you will, or this full spectrum of um, reactions from people. The perceptions of a sales call. So the people go to their website, they fill out the information, and we follow up with them and call and you know, explain to them the benefits, why they would want to have a home warranty. Some say, obviously, yes, they sign up. Others, maybe you're already there, but you 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 really get to see the um, again the full spectrum of emotions from people and lots. I got to tell you, lots of uh, crudeness, lots of anger out there. But if that's what I focus on then that's what I'm going to receive, the phone calls. Well, I can also focus on the phone calls that people are respectful and nice and generally in a happy mood and are, re are receptive to the phone call. See, it's what we focus on. And what we focus on is our story. So if we focus on the limiting amount of money in our bank account, let's say, then that's what we're going to get more of. See, what we, what we resist or we focus on expands. So if we tell ourselves this story that I never have, we don't never have enough money, there's never enough money at the end of the month, that's your story, okay? So if you focus on that, then that's the story you're telling yourself and you're telling the world. You're, you're projecting this out to the world. Your mindset your focus in your mind goes out to the world. And then your world watching this is different than my world. The people in your world are different than people in my world. We attract people to us of like mind. So if your story is, I never seem to have enough, then you're going to attract those type of people. And you're going to be attracted to those type of people who have a similar type of a mindset. If you are a person who was, uh, I, I have to um, work hard and I have to grind and I have to um, do all these things in order to generate income, then that's what you're going to, that's the story you tell yourself and that's what you're going to attract to you. And yes, somebody, you know, some of you watching this thing, well, George, you're working in a, in, a, in a call center. Isn't that sort of a grinding type of a job? If it is, if that's your story. You can be in an environment where that is the story for people, but you that's not your story. That's not my story. I don't grind. I simply make phone calls to people, and if they say, hey, they, they like it, I explain what the whole warranty process is or the whole warranty product is, 
If they say, yeah, I like it, I want to learn more, I want to join, then great, they join. If they say, hey, I understand, but you know, it's not for me, all right, then it's not for you. Now, for the people whose story is, no, you don't understand, you have to grind, you have to close those people. There's no such thing as closing somebody else. You simply ask a certain type of question in a certain um, formatted way that elicits an answer, a decision from the people. If they say yes, great, they understood it, it's, it fits for them, and then you sign them up. If they say no, they understand it, fine, then they don't, they don't join. But for someone whose story is, you don't understand that you have to figure out a way to get them to say yes, and then you get this type of a situation where you have your, your you have to get them to say yes, and their hands aren't open, so you don't have this, then what do you really have? And if you're successful in beating this person down and saying, okay, fine, yes, have you really won? Well, somebody will say, yeah, we won because they joined. But are they really happy? What's their vision or their what's their um, approach or what's their idea of this company? Well, their first approach or first impression is of a company that has to sell people on, you know, getting a warranty. So what I'm getting at is this is the story we tell ourselves. So if your story is that you are in that situation where you have to grind and you have to um, you have to close people, you're in sales, then that's your story. And that's what you're going to get more of. You're going to get more people coming to you that are resistant to whatever product it is you have or the whole sales, pro- or whole sales procedure in general. If your story is one that my life is easy or is relaxed and I just have a nice easy flow to it, then that's what you're going to get. That's your story. And the universe is going to bring more of that to you. So if you're watching this tonight and it's Saturday night and your story is, I can't seem to find love. It's a Saturday night. I'm home alone or I'm home in another Saturday. Then that's your story. If your story then changes to, I am lovable. I appreciate and I deserve love in my life, and I reserve. I, I deserve this type, type, type. Excuse me. I we deserve this certain type of reciprocal love back to me because of who I am. I'm putting that out to the world, and if I'm somebody who I love myself, and I appreciate myself, and I deserve love in my life, then that story goes out to the world and the universe, the world then reciprocates back with those types of people coming to you. It cannot be ever be any other way. Now, if some of you are saying, yeah, George, but what about the family whose child was born with a certain type of debilitating disease or what have you? Well, if that's the story you're telling them yourself that this child has this, and that's the story you're going to get. Now, I know that may be counter to some people listening to this, if this is, they know people like this, or they're going through a situation where maybe they have a debilitating disease, but that's the story they're, they're telling themselves. So I, I, I want to kind of tread lightly here with this. So you look, yourself in the, you look at yourself in the mirror, and do you tell yourself you have a debilitating disease? Because if you do, then that's the story you're telling yourself. If you look at yourself and you say, I see you as a perfectly healthy person, you are of perfect health, then that's the story you're putting out there. And I'm not saying that it'll change tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. But it changes in this moment. See, in this moment, you're not a person with a debilitating disease. That's the old person because we change in every single moment. Um, so I've been listening to Tara Swart. I believe that's how you say her last name, Dr. Tara Swart, S-W-A-R-T. If you want to look her up, she wrote a book called The Source, and she's a neuro neuroscientist. And I watched an interview with her because I was very interested to see from the scientific standpoint. And I'm not going to get into the whole interview, but you watch through the evolution of this interview, and I've seen a couple of them with her, 
And here's the reason why I bring this up, because uh, the number one neuroscientist in the world ended up saying from a scientific um, standpoint, ultimately it comes down to is what we believe, what we see in our mind is what we get. So if you assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled, you assume, excuse me, you are that person, then you can't not become that person if you stick with it. That's a big thing. So she watched, I, I watched her talk about the impact of um, on our brains for journaling, writing down, writing down things from a gratitude perspective, being grateful for, but here's the key, being grateful for that person that you ultimately want to be. You are that person right now. This is who you are now. See, because we don't ever attract into our life, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, what we want. We never attract what we want. We always ever attract who we are. And who we are is a is based on the set of beliefs about who we are. So if you want to change anything in your life, and I go back to maybe it's the financial situation or a real romantic a romance in your life, or maybe it's something a disease, um, or maybe it's something to do with um, physical. You know, fitness, your weight, maybe you want to lose weight, maybe you want to gain weight. You see yourself as that person already embodying that, that what you want to be. And she said, ultimately, this is how we change. So when we journal, you want to journal about maybe seeing this video tonight, okay? And maybe it's the first time seeing my, my videos and you're saying to yourself, wow, this is a different way of looking at life you want to journal that and you want to sort of watch the evolution of this okay so then maybe you want to start to delve into writing about yes you i i am and these are the key words i am that person i am perfect health i am financially abundant money comes to me easily um, I am love and I am respected and I respect because I respect myself. I appreciate, I appreciate and approve of, approve of myself. When you look yourself in the mirror and you say, I, you say you and you, you I, and you tell you, you say your name, you look at yourself in the mirror, you, George McNamara, you, Bob Smith, you, Missy, you know, Sanchez or whatever your name may be. I appreciate you. You des you are deserving of all things that are good in this world. Just saying those words, telling yourself, looking yourself in the eyes, and you even if you start to emotionally break down, that's okay. Let those feelings, if they've been so suppressed for so many years, allow them to come out. It is so, and she talked about it, it is so healthy. It is it helps to sort of cleanse our body of whatever pain that we've suppressed in our lives for how many years because i will tell you from a personal standpoint a lot of the pain a lot of frustration a lot of the fear and worry and what have you that i suppressed ended up rearing itself in the words in the word malignant from going through a, several years worth of illnesses that you know people the doctors couldn't figure out what's wrong so it's going so what I'm saying is our story will come, will um, play out on this stage of we call our life, which is our daily life. It is going to play out. So if it's going to play out anyway, we might as well put forth the story that we want. The, we want us, not this, we don't want the world to see it. Ultimately, yes, we, we maybe you want to own the car or own the house, or own the boat, or own the second home on the ocean and down by the beach, or what, or in the, in the mountains, whatever it may be. Because in doing that, we are broadcasting to the world, hey, this is what you can have. So somebody may say, well, do you, how did you get that brand new car? How did you get to lose all that weight? How did you get to defeat this disease? It starts here. Somebody you want to um, follow about something like that is Dr. Joe Dispenza. 
listen to his story about what he overcame in his life. It, it's just utterly amazing. So Dr. Swart also talked about, um, I, I'm not sure, you may want to watch her video, um, forget the name of the chemical, I believe it is, that trees, um, uh, evergreen trees give off that help to fight off cancer. You know, it's interesting, and I always go back to this, it's very interesting how at my age now, I'm hearing this for the first time. You know, so I always wonder, I'm always sort of full of wonderment as to why we never heard these things growing up. Why it is my generation and the generation before me and the one before that, these kind of, this kind of information was kept, kept from us. But anyway, that's not my story. See, I'm not, I kind of delve into that, but then I kind of bring it back to who I am today. And this is my reality. My reality is I'm learning this and I'm learning it for a reason. See, I want you to also understand this. If you're watching this video and you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, or this is your first time, especially if this is your first time, understand you're learning this. There's a reason why. There's always a reason. There's no accidents in this universe. You're learning this for a reason, okay? Your understanding, maybe for the very first time, that we never ever get anything in this world that we want. We only ever, only ever get what we believe we're worthy of. Okay, that's a huge dis discrepancy. It's huge. I mean, um, that's a huge dis um, change. I'll just say a change in the way of looking at things. So look at yourself in the mirror or think to yourself when you're going to sleep tonight, laying in bed before as you're falling asleep. Because in theta, okay, that's that sort of groggy state before we actually fall asleep. And theta, the groggy state as we're waking up, is when our thoughts go right into our subconscious mind. I want you to think about that. I want you to understand that, actually. I think about it. So I want you to understand that the thoughts we're putting us into our mind at, at that time um, go into our subconscious mind. So understand that I only ever attract into my life what I believe I'm worthy of, my beliefs, who I believe I am. So if you're struggling with finances, understand to this point in your life, and literally to this video right now, you believed you were not deserving of having abundance in your life. If you're somebody who's been struggling with issues with weight, understand up until this video, you have believed you're not worthy of having a fit body or that type, or, or in, in you'll notice in your, in both cases, our thought process, our decision making is equal to that. Okay, so one of the things you may want to think about tonight is, well, how much money? What's the what's the ceiling? What's the most money I've ever earned or what's the most money I've ever generated in my life? The key distinction, okay? You don't we don't earn money, okay? Nobody just gives us money. Money is fungible. Money is just is a means of exchange. Okay, go back to the sales story. I'm putting forth this product. Here's the benefits, you know, all the reasons, the sort of bullet point as to why this this product may be beneficial to that person. They're going to exchange the money. They're going to say, here, I'm going to exchange the money I have in my bank account to you, to this company. And the company is going to say, okay, we're going to exchange money from here as in a commission to me. Now, if I say that I'm only ever deserving of generating this much money, but not this much money. I'm not earning or not, I'm not generating it yet because there's a certain amount of belief that I have that stops here, doesn't go to here. And I have, I have had, um, awakenings in my life about that. Cause I've had people ask me, uh, one particular person who was a coach of mine years ago asked me, you know, how much money have you ever generated in your life? And you used the word generate. And I thought, huh, Never thought about that before. And there's a certain, but it's as base, it's a belief. Okay. So if you now look at your relationships, you have certain relationships with people. You have relationships, not certain, but you have relationships with people because you believe you're worthy of that type of a relationship. And that's fine if you're very, if you're in a relationship and you're very happy and it's very harmonious, what have you, that's great. But if you're not, if you're feeling like there's more, I, I can do more, be more, and have a, a, a better um, a relationship I'm more deserving of, 
start to look at it that way. Say, okay, you're deserving of a healthier, more harmonious, more respectful relationship. Maybe one that's not codependent. So all these different ways of looking at things. So this is kind of just sort of tying it together again, guys. What is your story? What's the story that you have been telling yourself up to this point in your life around finances, around relationships, around your health, around your your um, your work, what you do? Are you doing your Are you at a job because it's easy? It's just that path path of least resistance, or are you doing a job that? Or are you own a company or a business? Or have you not? Have you avoided opening opening up and having a business, having a channel like this, starting a video, uh, starting a, a channel like this? Have you been avoiding that because you don't deserve? Because the story you've told yourself up to this point, you don't deserve those things in your life. The the true abundance, you and I, we are all deserving of just tremendous amounts of of abundance in this world. There's a great, great uh, affirmation, and this is something else that Dr. Swart talked about, journaling and affirmations. I you know that the, um, the affirmation from Neville is, I have a lavish, steady, dependable income consistent with integrity and mutual benefit. I have a lavish, steady, consistent I have a lavish, steady, um, consistent, dependable thing. I mean, I got it wrong, but you understand. I said it for the first time I said it, I said it right. So just we'll go with that. So, and this is the other thing. As we go through life, if we stumble, just allow it to happen. Okay. We've been, we've been uh, conditioned to judge ourselves. We're not allowed to make mistakes. I talked to my son about this. He plays baseball, and I tell him there's W and there's L. There's winning, and then there's learning, not losing. We don't lose. We learn. If we lose, then we're stuck here. Learning is this. Learning is just I'm going here, so I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going to keep on learning. I'm going to keep growing. I'm going to keep getting better. So we're learning. Okay, so you look up the the, the quote by Neville, the affirmation. I believe I had it right the first time. Another affirmation around finances. I am so happy and grateful. I am so happy and grateful. That's the key word. Now, right now, now that money comes to me in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a consistent basis from Bob, from Bob Proctor. So I want to, I, I want to, have you guys hear that? That's your new story if you want it to be. Here's something else that I just I saw today and I wrote down in my notes. And it's now think about, excuse me, what I'm about to tell you. Think about how far back in history the, these quotes go. If, excuse me, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself. I'll say it again. If you or I are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but your and my opinion of it. And this, you and I, have the power to revoke at any moment. Marcus Aurelius back in the Roman Empire days. Now, how far back does that go, right? We go further. He or she who blames others has a long way to go on his or her journey. He or she who blames him or herself is halfway there. He or she who blames no one has arrived. Chinese proverb. So that you could probably take back thousands of years. History, my friends, is just chock full of examples like that one. What is your story? What has your story been up until this point? But more importantly, my friends, 
what is your new story and when is when does it start mine starts right now mine changes i keep looking at my story every single day i'm going to end with this so at this job we have warm trans warm transfers there's a third party who gets people to call or they transfer people to us so we we get the phone call we announce ourselves and this intermediary change it takes a person if you think about this almost takes a person and says here mr george from choice home warranty here this person wants to learn about um you know whatever your product is the home warranty thank you very much mr and mrs so-and-so here's george and they they leave now i will tell you if i get 10 of those transfers eight to nine of them the people are just they have no idea what what's going on okay a lot of them are just downright angry and the anger just comes through the phone some of them are downright just planning out this way to be just extremely crude you can understand what i'm talking about here's the test the mindset i being completely honest there are times i could feel those old emotions the old story welling up inside of me because if somebody says a certain thing you know we're all all human we're all spiritual beings having this human existence but that is when in the moment i catch myself and then i say okay let them go let them go with their story and then that story that's still inside of me i allow it to move on i let it go okay you've heard me talk about previous um videos about the wake alan watts look it up on youtube you know, and you could maybe you look at dr wayne dyer him talking about it the wake is like the boat going up the river and the wake is obviously behind the boat and we're standing at the i believe they call it the stern of the boat and we're looking at the wake if you are new to my channel this is your first time hearing this i want you to picture yourself standing on the stern of the boat looking at the wake the water moving out beyond the boat so what is in the boats going this way the wake's going that way what is pushing the boat that way the wake is the wake or is it just the present moment energy for a lot of us it's the old story the wake you focus on that it's not so tonight if you want it to be your new story allow the wake to be just that the wake and awaken to your new story this is now this is who you are this is your new story thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you everybody who has subscribed to this channel i have said it before and if you would like to just leave me a comment down below for any personal coaching I am finalizing everything and I will, I promise. I've said it before, but I'm going to have availability of times you, you can make this a, a link you'll be able to click on. Just let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to have any type of personal one on one coaching. I would love to have the opportunity to do that with you. Until I see you guys again, and it will be fairly soon, okay? Thank you so much. God bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And remember, your new story starts right now.